Looking ahead to the January jobs report, it will be out this upcoming Friday. As consumer sentiment tumbled to a 10-year low, the Federal Reserve tries to get inflation under control ahead of multiple rate hikes that we are expecting. Last week, we got a read on the core PCE, which is the Fed's preferred inflation member measure. December's rise of 4.9 percent annually, the highest reading since September 1983. Joining me right now is former Reagan economist and the author of Trumponomics, Art Laffer is here. Art, great to see you. Thanks so much for being here. New year, new analysis. How would you characterize where we are on the economy today? Well, I think we're at a precipitate. We're at a really a precarious position, Maria. I think. I think we might be tipping into a slowdown, and if that happens, that would be really bad for the economy. I don't think inflation is under control yet. Uh, if you look at it, the last month there's been a very sharp rise in oil prices. Now that offsets a very sharp fall previous month, but the two together don't show any improvement in inflation to my way of looking at it. And uh, we don't have any of the basics coming in that could really do a good job. I mean, tax cuts, spending restraint, uh, sound money, all of that is missing. Uh, so I'm quite concerned about the next 12 months for the U.S. economy. So, I mean, here we are expecting a multiple string, a string of multiple rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. I've been asking the question, Art, if we are expecting four, five, six, who knows how many more rate hikes in 2022, wouldn't it be uh, 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 an expectation that the Fed might raise rates a half a point as opposed to a quarter point every meeting? Now we hear from the Atlanta Federal Reserve President Rafael Bostic asking the same question, saying that the central bank could raise rates half a point if needed to combat inflation. Uh, this next hike is going to be in March. Would you expect a half a point? Well, it could be half a point, Maria, but the bottom line is they shouldn't be in the business of trying to control interest rates. The way we brought down inflation back in 1981 with Paul Volcker and Ronald Reagan together, if you'll remember, the prime interest rate the day Ronald Reagan took office was 21 and a half percent, way above the inflation rate, which was running at 14, 15 percent back then. But if you're going to have a real effect of monetary policy on inflation, you've got to get those interest rates above inflation. Right now, people are paying the government to lend them money to the government. It's crazy. It's wrong. It's bad. The negative interest rate today in the U.S. about minus five and a half percent, and that doesn't make any sense. The Fed should get out of the business of trying to control rates and stop buying government bonds. Just hold their balance sheet fixed. Well, unfortunately, the Federal Reserve is still easing as we speak, right? They're still not finished yes, their are. bond buying program, Art, which is just no, amazing to me. The markets are obviously incredibly nervous. First three weeks of the year down, talking about a 12 percent sell off for the Nasdaq. And now the word recession has entered once again our conversation. We discussed this over the last couple of weeks and Cornerstone Macro's co-founder uh, Nancy Lazar joined me last week and she he is expecting a recession globally in 2023. Watch this. I still think the United States is the strongest economy in the world. Um, but at the end of the day, a significant global slowdown with a risk of a global recession. We are a global economy. Many companies are globally based. And the tightening cycle was already set to slow the economy here in 2023. And the Fed would obviously make it worse. But so would, so would Russia, big time. And that's why we yeah. have raised the specter for the first time of a global recession possibly in 2023. I hope not. But yeah. um, it is what it is. Art, she's what do you dead say? right, Nancy. I mean, she's dead right, Maria. I mean, she's, she's right on the money. And uh, I think she's, uh, the Fed is doing everything wrong. I think the only hope we really have of a good, good thing would be the elections in November. All right. We'll leave it there. Art Laffer, always a pleasure. Great to see you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you.